Hi, I'm Robert J. Simpson here once again. And I thought for this vlog I would talk a little bit about Love Day. Oh yes, everyone's favourite time of year is almost upon us once again. And I know what some of you are thinking, what has a big cynic like me got to say about love? It being that I notoriously am still single, have a litany of failed relationships behind me, and often will post on social media with my own... Uh, somewhat cynical angst when it comes to coupling up with somebody else. Now, I want to clear that out of the way. Um, I'm not exactly against relationships. Uh, I've not got an altogether unpleasant experience in the past. I have had positive experiences and one cripplingly bad uh, relationship that has coloured, shall we say, my... Um, my attitudes towards commitments, but it's what it's also made me aware of is, is sort of red flags and bad relationships, and it's something that has informed my dealings with people since. So, as a consequence, in part, I, I am a single man, and have been for a long time. I don't think I've done a Valentine's Day with somebody else since, well, about ten years at least, and that's okay. You know, uh, there have been things in between, uh, but. The fetishization that many people have for Valentine's Day is something that uh, has, I am pleased to say, eluded me for quite a long time. And I think it's something that a lot of us could probably do with paying a little bit more attention to. Um, because there is this fixation on the date. There is this obsessiveness about declaring one's love for another human being, regardless of whether you've been with them for five minutes or 50 years. And that it must all be marked on the 14th of February every single year. Uh, often with ridiculously expensive gifts that you wouldn't think about giving them at any other time, um, about tokens of a certain kind of love and control, uh, often examples of giving of the rose, which is a perfectly nice flower, but you'll find that, that every rose is grown for Valentine's Day and sold at a disproportionately expensive price, uh, booking of restaurants that one would never set foot into otherwise and paying twice as much as you would on any other day of the year for a meal that you share in the company of a room full of strangers who are all watching you knowing that you're going out on a date with somebody else and probably for some meaningful thing and um, you're all in the same sort of slightly embittered and twisted and... Uh, malfunctioning situation and the end result is a lot of expectation a lot of build up uh, a lot of I think probably expectations on commitment a lot of expectations in terms of sex and that's not a great place in which to build a relationship I mean if you are somebody who has built everything around this one night if you're somebody who's in a relationship and your partner is expecting you to build it all around this one night then something is definitely a miss in your situation because it shouldn't be about one night of the year if you have to build up all your love experiences for one night you are doing your relationship wrong because love surely should be something that we give of to our partner every single day that our partner gives to us every single day now we can have problems within that we can have days where things are not quite working out between us uh we can have days where maybe we're just not feeling it you know i'm sorry darling i'm too tired that is okay that is that is what a relationship is like it is not all a <laughs> in inverted commas bed of roses we should have good days and bad days we should have ups and we should have downs the good days should outnumber the bad and, you know, we should want to be with that person, but we shouldn't have to feel compelled to make these decorations on this one day. Similarly, we shouldn't feel a need to publicly declare our affections on this one day. I'm looking at Facebook at the moment and Instagram and all my social media profiles are filled with couples who are going out of their way this weekend to make sure everybody else knows that they are in a relationship with this other person and then they make them deadly happy. Now, statistically, one in two marriages ends in divorce these days. So already you know that all those married couples that are out there posting, they're probably, let's, 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 be, let's be sort of delicate with the numbers, um, let's say maybe a quarter or a third of those relationships are not working out. They are in their death knells and it is a matter of time before their relationship implodes. And that's just marriages which take a certain level of commitment um, and 
contractual obligation to fulfill anyway but for every standard relationship that you see out there it's probably a safe bet to say that one and two of those relationships at least is not going to work out they will not be doing valentine's day next year together and yet if you were to look at what's going on on social media right now you would be utterly convinced that they are the happiest couple in the entire world and it's a lie and it disturbs me how much that we put upon this one day and how much we feel this need to tell other people that we are in love with this person that probably we're not really that in love with. And that is probably the most cynical bit of me ever speaking. But it is a fairly safe assumption that these people are not all in love. A lot of them don't know what love actually is. And I think that for a lot of us, we don't really appreciate the differences between a good and a bad relationship, between love and not love, between love and obsession, love and lust, love and fixations, love and boredom until we have had some bad experiences in our love lives. Once you have experienced an appalling relationship, you have such a better idea of what a positive relationship is of what a positive loving experience is and you are more likely to identify somebody that is good for you and that you're actually genuinely in love with or um the benefits of hindsight we're in love with and i have to say even for myself i i know from having come out of a bad relationship all those years ago now uh what good relationships have looked like on either side of the people that I have genuinely felt affection and love for and those people that I have just been in a moment with. And that's okay and that's good. But I'm glad that I haven't felt the same pressure. I'm glad that I haven't felt the same sort of need to declare my relationship status um, and to apply pressure onto relationships that ultimately didn't go to places because if I had felt this need if I did it around this time of year then maybe that's exactly what I would have done and I think a lot of us could probably do with um rethinking our attitudes towards this and this isn't bitter old me saying you know I I, I wish people would stop displaying their PDAs because I ain't got any that's not what I'm doing but it's just being about more conscious about what we give and how we feed our relationships about not fetishizing one afternoon, one evening, one guaranteed lay. We're putting the pressure onto somebody for that guaranteed lay. It's Valentine's Day. We have to have sex. No, it's Valentine's Day. We might have sex if we're feeling it together. Similarly, you know, we could skip it tonight and just have a nice quiet night in. Not Maybe not even see each other. And you know what? We can have great sex on another night. That actually means something that we don't feel pressured into. I, I think that's what bugs me. I don't like anything where we feel obligation to do something. I don't think obligation is particularly healthy within a relationship. I think that we should be able to be honest. I think that we should be prepared and willing to say no and to accept no for an answer. And we should be prepared to accept each other's ups and downs. And the fetishization, the hallmark holiday of Valentine's Day, doesn't let us do that. It encourages us to send these big glowing cards full of gleeful, emphatic expressions of desire and lust and affirmation that aren't meant. Words that are meaningless. It's like a Tinder profile that asks you to hit on them with their best chat up line. I ain't got a chat up line. I'm not going to be able to hit on you with my best line. And if honestly what you're looking for is somebody who can prepare the best route of speech and apply to everybody and just the best one of those you'll take rather than somebody who is being honest and sincere and telling you something that they mean, uh, then that is a really bad sign for your future. So Valentine's Day is a bunch of bullshit. And it is not a healthy situation for a relationship. If you want to take it as part of your 365 day commitment to somebody. And you apply the things that you do on Valentine's Day to other days of the year. Other special occasions. Other just random general fucking days. Days that are just days. You know. Darling I want to take you out tonight because well. 
I just want to take you out tonight and I think we should. And, you know, you give people the option and to just have those sorts of days more than once a year. Um, that's probably a much, much healthier attitude towards love and relationships and sex and, and, and these PDAs. Um, I have much more time for a, a, a couple or a throuple or whatever your relationship situation is when it's not all just geared towards one massive peer enforced celebratory exercise um that ain't the way to go and i know some of you're going to sit there and you're going to argue with me and say well you know this is what i want to do and it's important and if you know if my partner doesn't want to do these things on valentine's day then they're just a shitty partner and i'd ask you to maybe just stop for a minute and think about that and to think about the considerations for it and to think about all sorts of other implications. It's the same that I wouldn't encourage anybody to ever do a first date on Valentine's Day. I think that is a mistake um, because you're putting so much pressure on yourself. And again, statistically, you know, let's look at Valentine's Day and let's look at anniversaries. Don't ever get married on Valentine's Day either. If one and two marriages doesn't work out and you start doing like a marriage on Valentine's Day, then the chances of that failing are quite high. And if you have to then go into another relationship with somebody else, come Valentine's Day, which is a day that everybody celebrates, you will always have this hang up about it because of what has gone on. And that is not a good thing for you or for them or for anybody else that you're involved with. So be careful about the days that you pick and that you choose to mark in significant ways. Valentine's Day, I think, is just another day. It is uh, to be encouraged that we encourage people to uh, declare our love for one another, to think about one another. But we need to be careful how we structure that. We need to be careful and think about how we adopt traditional rules into that celebration, into how we play to traditional uh, stereotyping. Um, you know, it shouldn't be left down to one particular partner or one particular gender to make all the effort on that day. It shouldn't be up to one of us to put out for those traditionally entrenched viewpoints. It shouldn't be down to making all the arrangements for this one night. We should be looking at our relationship as a whole and trying to make every day count and quite honestly i think the most loving thing you can probably do on valentine's day is just to stay at home get yourself a takeaway and um, chill out and enjoy each other's company in the privacy of your own home to just enjoy being together and listening to each other's stories and your wants and your desires and just life and save those big public decorations for another day when it has more meaning to you not because it has more meaning to society where you caught up among the instagram throng where you're just tapping into the algorithm and getting all your likes because that's what it is but because there is something else because it means something to you because it's your story and you're building it your own way and not because someone else has told you that you must build it this way for those of us who are not in a relationship on Valentine's Day, it can be quite difficult to sit back and to watch other people, to be aware that everybody else apparently is in these happy situations and to feel in some way like you failed or that you're being left behind because you don't have a partner, because you're not married, because you maybe don't have kids, because you don't have a home of your own, whatever your situation is. And I'm not gonna say to people who are happy, who are in love, who do want to have their, their, their moments that they shouldn't do them. But I think it's also being, you know, it's worth being aware that there are other people out there who do not share the same luxuries of life that you do. And for the rest of us, it's okay. I mean, probably if we all got together we find somebody in amongst our mass of lonely individuals to couple up with if that's what you want whether it's for a night or for a month or a year or forever you know there's people out there for us but it's it's okay to not have somebody it's okay not to be sharing our pdas and if you're someone who's deeply cynical who has been scarred by the experiences of a past relationship and therefore looks upon days like this as not necessarily a pleasant experience that is okay too and you declare that in whatever way you damn well want 
So if you're sitting there and you kind of think, well, I just want to moan because quite honestly, relationships are shit and you can't trust anyone. That's okay too. And you'll have my full support because, well, they are a bit, and people are a bit shit. But yeah, it's a cynical marketing ploy designed to sell cards and restaurant tables. And you've got to be aware of that. And, you know, if you're budget conscious, if you're relationship conscious, why not do it another day? Declare your love another day. Book a restaurant on a day where it's cheaper, where it's quieter, where it's more, where it's genuinely more intimate. I'm sorry, if you're being sold an intimate experience on Valentine's Day, probability is that it ain't going to be an intimate experience. It's going to be quite open, quite public, and there's going to be lots of other awkward couples also trying to outdo each other in the display stakes. And that can in turn make you feel inadequate whenever you don't do what they're doing, whenever you don't do enough, whenever you haven't bought the most expensive bottle of wine, whenever you haven't gone and bought the best gift ever, when your card is only half the effort it should be. Um, so for me, I would rather avoid situations like that where I'm left feeling I have to compare my own attempts with somebody else. And if you have a new relationship, um, I think going all out at the start is probably also a really bad idea because a new relationship is still finding its feet. It still doesn't know what it is. And there's no point you trying to pretend to be somebody that you're not going to be for three, the next 364 days. Be the person that you are. Be the most sincere and honest person that you are and do only the things that you would do anyway. So if there's a special you that you bring out just for Valentine's or just to get to get to bed with someone, put that person at home. That ain't the person you want to be because ultimately that's not the person that the person that you're with is going to be with the rest of the time. And uh, the more insincere we are in our relationships, on key days in our relationships, the more insincere our relationships in turn are going to be and the more likelihood is that they are going to fail and ultimately none of us wants to get into a relationship with someone that's going to fail and if it's just for a day or it's just for a week or it's just for a month there ain't no point in putting all that effort into one night you know it ain't worth it so there you go that's my thoughts on love day um if you're really interested uh, i've lots of cynical blog posts about it over on my uh on one of my blogs so i might link it through into the comments on the on the youtube below uh, or into the description but um yeah let me know how you feel if you if you think i'm talking bullshit and you love love and love love day and want to just mark it and spend all the money you have and take out a second mortgage just to pay for a ring so you can get married on this day next year or whatever else it is you want to do feel free to comment back to me um but whatever you're doing whether you're on your own or you're with someone else have a great day